Do you want to know more interesting places in Kaohsiung that you won't want to miss? Dago English Classroom is on air. Welcome to KBS English. Hello, I'm Wen. Hello, I'm Yolanda. What's your favorite attraction for holiday? 你放假时最喜欢的景点是哪里呀? Well, I like to visit the Panting Village in different towns. 我喜欢去不同乡镇的彩绘村. So do I. I really like to take pictures with those cute and jocular painting. 我也是, I'm interested in those paintings that are about the life in the countryside. 我是对那些农村生活的话感到兴趣. 来到桥头,除了最有名的桥头糖厂, 千万别忘了逛逛它附近的百树彩绘村. 没错, 它原本是个平凡无奇的小村落, 在桥子头文石协会的推动下, 找来了八位创作者, 帮白树社区进行老屋彩绘, 现在整个都不一样了呢? 彩绘的英文是painting, P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G, P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G, painting, 名词, 例如, This painting was done by a local artist. 这幅画是由一位当地画家所画的。这里的创作品风格各自不同, 有的诡异, 诙谐, 有的可爱, 温馨, 诙谐的英文是jocular, J-O-C-U-L-A-R, J-O-C-U-L-A-R, jocular, 形容词, 例如, He is a jocular person, 他是一个诙谐有趣的人, 这些特别的作品造成冲突反差, 让单调的红砖或铁皮屋增添色彩 也为老旧的农村注入活泼崭新的动力, 使某些断元残壁的艺术家乔受回穿下, 反而变成最热门的装置艺术角落呢? 农村的英文是countryside, C-O-U-N-T-R-Y-S-I-D-E, C-O-U-N-T-R-Y-S-I-D-E, countryside, 名词, 例如, Thousands of people come to this countryside every summer. 每年夏天都有成千上万的人来到这个农村。A country, 这个字则有乡村国家的意思。例句, Would you prefer to live in the country instead of a town? 比起城市,你更愿意住在乡下吗? 因此,来到彩绘村的游客,除了可以和新一对象涂鸦创作和引流念,更可以自在地漫步于社区间。本单元由高雄广播电台国立高雄科技大学应用英语所合作直播谢谢收听 And don't miss out on our next lesson right here at Dago English Classroom We'll see you then